Welcome, I'm Frederick Mellon aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm gonna go over the second most common thing that you can do to blow a speed controller uh, which you can prevent. That's the whole idea of this video. Uh, I had high hopes, I mean I actually went outside trying to blow up a speed controller but the thing is it only happens uh, go, it only goes catastrophic failed if it's a high voltage um, speed controller and I didn't want to burn a bunch of high voltage expensive speed controllers so I have to just show you the effect uh, on the scope here so you can see how much it differs so if we look here I have a speed controller a motor with a load and then I have a shunt here which I can measure the current actually I measure a drop of voltage over it which in terms means I can measure the current very exactly um, it's not calibrator calibrated but the whole purpose here is only to show the difference between a motor running and what happens when you get a bad connection and that's the this video that's the thing here we go over what happens if I have one bad connector um, and I'm gonna show you that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up my connector here which then we turn on the motor and I have rigged my scope I'm gonna show you here in a second let's just move around a little um, so uh, up there and then we zoom in here here I have my scope and I have a trigger that actually gonna trigger on this event that I'm gonna show you so I just pull up my motor and then I make a bad connection from one motor cable and here we see let's see here well, let's scale out here you see the peaks up and down uh, it's the back EMF and the current so that drives the motor how big it is when it's normally running so this is the normal motor then when I am, uh, get a bad connection on the connector you see what happens here and actually if you compare this it's about three times as high current as uh, when the motor was running normally so then you can figure out what happens if let's say I have a hundred amp controller running at hundred amps and this happens well 300 amps and boof smoke and uh, a lot of smoke so this is a very simple thing what you need to do and what you need to understand is there is one simple thing and I say if the connector is hard to make fit on your cable then it's a wrong connector meaning if you have 10 gauge cables on your speed controller fitting a 4 millimeter bullet isn't a good option because it's hard to make that fit so I instead use 5.5 millimeter bullet or if you have like me a bunch of uh, those uh, uh, let's see here EC5s which I have let's see here you have these bullets use just the bullets for the EC5s that's five millimeter bullets they fit on a lot of things so use the correct amount uh, size of bullets and also make sure you have a good connection um, check your soldering skills if you have uh, a weak soldering iron it's much better to use a butane torch to heat stuff and, and solder that way I hope this helps someone at least out there with uh, before you burn up the speed controller from this because it can happen 